Hi, it's Mike at Phase 1 and today we're going to take a very exclusive first look at a light that has been much talked about on the internet, the Equinox Helix Gobo Flower. Yeah, a moonflower LED, 100 watt LED. A lot of talk about this. To be honest with you, this is the only, I've got two, it's the only two in the country at the time of making this video, so it's a very exclusive video. These will not be released until about January 2020 in the future. Right, what have we got here so far? Right, full metal housing, totally metal, so it's going to stand life on the road. We've got a fan here, going to need a fan uh, to cool a 100 watt LED. We've got our hanging bracket coming to the back of the unit. We've got IEC in and out. We've got our digital display with our menu and we've got DMX in and out on 3 pin XLR and we've got a little input here for a CA8 controller which I will show you on later on in the video. From what I've found so far, going to my manual, right, um, and I've had a bit of a play around with it. Obviously we're going to put this light on, we're going to video it in smoke, out of smoke, we're going to put it on a bit of a DMX desk. We, we're going to do all kinds of things within this video. But the first thing I've noticed is it has got eight show modes. And this item has got a separate colour and gobo wheel. And that means that we can select a gobo and we can select a colour. So, and I'm going to show this in the video in a while. But in a nutshell, if I wanted hearts, and there is a heart shaped gobo in there. And I wanted that heart to be white or pink, I can select it within the built in programs to do that without having doing DMX. It's also got a snowflake uh, gobo in there and of course we want to know can we select a snowflake in a white colour and can we do it from just using the unit without using a DMX desk? Yes we can. I'm going to show you all these features. Other features it's got, it's got uh, we can run these master and slave so we're going to run two and we're going to run the master and slave but there's an extra feature we've got slave one slave 2 or slave 3 and we're going to show it working in all them different modes as well just a quick note we have got DMX channel modes we've got 2, 5 and 7 uh, obviously master and slave uh, and we can adjust the sound sensitivity and we can speed this up and slow it down right forgive my camera work here but I want you to show you the back of the unit and try and keep that in focus which is actually throwing on my camera it's making it look a little bit out of focus on the effect on the wall trust me it is in focus it's my camera but I just wanted to show you how I really like the menu on this light so I can set an effect how I want so I'm just going to go into the menu and we're going to go into the show mode and we're currently in show 3 now when I press enter on show 3 I can speed that up or slow it down so if I speed that up the rotation becomes quicker as you can see now what's going to happen when we go into sound to light if i was to put some music on and we're going to play some music and show you in sound to light later on in this video it will how it works is the speed of the rotation stays the same but it will change the gobo to the beat of the music i'm sure you this will come apparent later on in the video so i'm just going to go back into the menu see if i can explain it in another way so if I go enter into there and then go, so we're in show three and then let's take the speed right down. Right, so I've got it on 10. Right, press enter. It'll stay at 10. But what will happen when we do sound to light, it will change to the, it, the, the, the speed will stay slow on the rotation, but the gobos will change to the beat of the music. I like that feature. But here's the other feature that I really, really like, is when you go further into the shows and there's eight different show modes, I'm just going to take it up to show number eight. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and press enter, I can adjust my speed, which I'm going to leave there, and press enter. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in time. So let me just go into show mode again press enter, I can do speed, press enter again, I can choose a gobo. So let's say for instance I wanted that snowflake gobo there, again I wasn't quick enough, 
it's just because I am trying to do a video and explain it at the same time. So short eight, speed, go ball. I can flick through them all. We're going to focus these up so we can focus on the go ball so we can see what they are shortly. There's the snowflake and now I can select my colours. So I'm changing the colour. So there I've got a white. We've also, interestingly, got a warm white as well. So I just flick through the colours and I just press enter and I can lock it into that colour. Right, so we've just pointed the light up at the ceiling in our lighting showroom. Now, it is catching our mirror ball, so you are getting like a little glittery effect. That isn't the normal effect you would get. You can just see it catching the mirror ball, so you're getting some sparkles in the, in the, on the roof. Uh, but let's just focus on the colours and the go balls. So I'm just going to go into the menu. Enter the show that I'm in. And I'm going to first have a look at the colours. So we're just going to scroll through them. Some half colours, split colours. So there's that warm white. Let's go back to that. So we've got like a warm white and then a white. I hope that comes out on the camera. So I'm going to go back to the warm white. Oh, I really like the warm white. So now what I'm going to do is we'll enter at that and we'll go through the go balls. Enter, enter, enter. I really like the controllability on this light. I like the fact that we can create certain effects like pink or red hearts. So in total, I believe we have got, going down, we've got 11 different go balls.
Okay, so in this part of the video, we've taken one down off the rig and uh, we point it there. So it's, it's here, this is the unit. We point it up at the ceiling area and what we're going to do is we plugged in a CA8 controller. So there is a hole on the back of the unit that will uh, work with a CA8. It's an optional extra and I just wanted to show you some of the functions that I can achieve using the CA8. So in the minute it's in standby, I can bring it back on and currently it's in show number two and if I was to press the mode button I can speed that up and speed it up and slow it down and if I press the button again it'll go to show zero so show zero will scroll through everything and every feature that's within the light it's, uh, it'll just do a bit of everything really but if I press it again, I can select the different shows. So that's show 4, show 5, show 6, 7 and 8. Now 8, I set this up earlier, just a little few minutes before. I know the hearts are upside down, but the fixture is upside down before anybody says. Right? Um, and I selected that earlier. So imagine if that was on a dance floor at the beginning of an event like a wedding. And it was just slowly rotating. Then that first dance is out of the way, I could just press the mode button and go back to show zero. Yeah, so like I say, I know that the hearts were upside down, but as you, I'll show you now, the fixture is actually upside down on that there. Just focus that back up again. Right, so if I was, that's in show zero, it will go through all its programs. If I press mode now, I go back to eight and I've got my slowly scrolling hearts go back I can speed that up if I need to all via this little handheld remote and now I'm back to show zero so it's gonna go through all its bits so handy little remote we can adjust the speed and we can flick through the different shows so what I'm gonna do in the next part of the video is I'm just gonna select a few things within the menu um, that I'd like to set up some effects that I particularly like, like let's say we could have the, the snowflake in white rotating. What I really like about this menu and the way they've thought this out on this particular light is I can set up certain looks. So if I want a warm white heart or a pink heart, you can have that slowly rotating, fast rotating. It can, they've really thought about how this is going to be used. I'm going to list down the show modes within this as well because some of the show modes are very clever as well because it omits things like, I, I can't remember off the top of my head which show mode it is, but one of the show modes omits the uh, heart gobo and the snowflake gobo. So if you were just doing a random party and you were like, I don't really want snowflakes all over the wall on a simple uh, show, you'd be able to do that by selecting the right show. It also works really well under DMX because you can select them shows as well. But let's just set up a few of the effects that I really like that we'd be able to produce with this light. One of them being that warm white. I really like that warm white look.
our look at the Helix, quite a lot to tell you about that light. Um, one, 100 watt LED, wow, it's mega bright. That's only a little lighting room really in the scale of things. This will throw and throw in a venue. I have no doubt whatsoever, is this product bright enough? Yes, it is. Um, let's just make sure I've gone through most of the specs and things. We've got a beam angle of 40 degrees. We've got a manual focus on the front. We've got 11 static gobos and open and nine colors. And some of those colors are split colors. We've got DMX channels of two, five or seven. It'll work master and slave. Right, earlier on in the video, we showed you the three slave modes, the slave mode one, slave mode two and slave mode three. And they just work in different ways. Slave mode one, I believe, is the one that they copy each other. So the rotation was the same. Then slave mode two, they both stayed the same, but the rotation was opposite. Then slave mode three was opposite colours, different directions. It was all over the place. It made it a little bit more exciting, a different effect. I really like that feature. The other feature that I like within this unit is we can slow it down. We can do that first dance. It's got the heart gobo. It's got snowflake gobo. I would have liked to have seen some stars. Would have been nice. Uh, and I just like the fact that we can lock it into these programs. DMX, it will work brilliantly. And let me just go across the page here on my instruction manual. And let me tell you, there is uh, in two channel mode. So if you're not into your DMX and you just want to plug a little DMX disc in and scroll through the programs in two channel mode, you can speed the motor up, rotation, and you can slow it down and you can select the shows. Now let me tell you, right? Show zero is everything, yeah? Show number one is all gobos in all colors, including split colors. Show two, slow mode, non-reactive to sound, yeah? Show three, all gobos and colours, excluding split colours. Show number four, all colours, including split colours, split colours and all gobos, excluding snowflake and hearts. So we can leave them out. Show five is all colours, excluding split colours and all gobos, excluding snowflake, hearts and gobos. They've really thought about this. Show number three, all gobos, Colour selected via menu. Show 7, all colours, gobo selected via menu. Show 8, colour and gobo selected by the menu, by yourself. It's brilliant. I just think that the show modes in this, someone has actually listened, hey, and given us the DJ, the mobile DJ, what they need. We need a light that we can slow down for them first dances. It's really, really important. It's got the heart go boy, and we can make it pink, we can make it warm white. I like that as well. That's another thing I really, really liked. So, do I think the product's good? Yes, I do. I think it's an absolute winner. CA controller as well, optional extra. If you want some pricing information on this light, you will need to click the link in the description to this video, and it will take you through to our website. If you like our reviews, subscribe, give us a like and a share as well on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, I just think that, in closing, is a winner. We've been looking for a, a moonflower light that's bright and good. Now, just in closing, I know some of you are going to pick out and go, oh, on the video, some of the outer gobos were just a little bit out of focus. You're right. You're dead right. And I've questioned this as well. I questioned it with ProLite. Uh, the reason behind that is, this, inside this, there is a mirror, like a concaved mirror where the light bounces onto. Now, you have to have the mirror concaved to get the output and the spread. That's what makes it work, it's the beam angles of the light. But unfortunately, when you get to the outer edge on that concaved mirror, the way the light hits it, it does make them outer gobos. And I, did, I thought this was one of the best ones I've seen though, because I've seen some earlier products where the gobo on the outside was totally out of focus. You're never going to get that outer gobo sharp as the ones in the middle. They're always going to be a little bit out of focus on the outside rather than the ones in the middle. Because you would have to put a flat mirror and it won't work then. Because if you put a flat mirror, it won't do what a moonflower does. I hope that explains that. 
I think in this particular unit they've improved it, they've definitely got it better. Uh, but I remember in earlier models like say the Cheetah, there was the same issue. I think they've improved it on this, this model. But we're always going to have that issue just for the simple reason there's a concave mirror. We can't have a moonflower light that does this kind of, you know, spread um, without using a concave mirror. And the way the light hits the mirror, it's going to throw them out of gobo slightly out of focus. But I think you'll possibly agree with me. It didn't look bad. And who's going to notice apart from me and you? To Micah Phase 1, click the link, subscribe, Helix.